Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palska International Nail Artist and Educator here. And today we are going to do a beautiful design with some Swarovski crystals placement and some butterflies as well. So two amazing things in one design. You can have a wee preview of it in here. And I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. Let's start. <laughs> It is a time for the butterfly and I'm really excited for this set. Uh, we are going to paint all sorts of uh, different beautiful designs uh, with those uh, glitter mix and they are available on my website as well like butterflies and crystals, something really beautiful. So we are going to start with the pinky, uh, pinky nail and I will be using the candy floss and a sweet side. I think these two colors will look really nice and beautiful for this set. Yes, totally. So I'm going to apply on the pinky. Half nail with the candy floss. Pretty difficult task because you want to paint only half a nail. Try to do it kind of neat. I mean, you don't need to do it perfect because we will do some glitter and gems in there, but try to do it kind of half decent. <laughs> then this nail we are going to paint sweet side. So the entire nail goes with the sweet side. And same the middle finger, sweet side. Then on this one we are going to do it opposite way. So painted the bottom half. Give it a cure. Let's go back to pinky. That's not the pinky. That's the pinky. And just paint the second coat. Give it a cure. Actually painting on all like um, all sets as much uh, better because it can kind of guys give you an idea how the full set can look and what to do on the each finger and I really enjoy doing uh, the designs this way rather than showing you on the one or two tips this one full coverage And you can guys absolutely see it. That's a sweet side is my favorite ever. It just goes with everything, like totally everything. It's a number 155. Absolutely glad they actually got this uh, color, the sweet side. And this one. Yes, that's the one. So just paint the other half. Cool. Give it a cure. And now we can start adding some sparkles. So I've got two and I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. Use this one. So 
So that's a uh, Bronzing Stars 170. But I think it will be nice to introduce some extra sparkle into that as well. Maybe this one. No, that will be too much sparkle. Okay, let's start with the pinky. So I'm going to apply... You could do it in encapsulated gel, but because we are working on the press on nail tips, I'm not going to be able to do it with the encapsulated gel, so we are going to apply it with the base. And I've got a bit of base on the bottom here. And then going to grab my old brush, open up this magic pot. And then start designing this, uh, this tip. So we are going to apply a little bit of the glitter. And a little bit of glitter. Then clean the brush and put the base gel. Now we are going to, from our mix, we are going to pick up some butterflies. And they are so pretty. Absolutely stunning butterflies. And then give it a flash cure. Now I'm going to need two nails. So this is a ring finger. And that's the other nail. And now we are going to encapsulate uh, the glitters. But let's do some love heart shape first. So I'm taking my base gel and I'm painting the loft shape. Check the places where it's starting just so you've got the same one. Okay, and then paint the same shape with the base in here. So when they join in, they will show a beautiful love heart. Okay, and now we are going to fill it up with some glitter. And the butterflies. So I'm just picking up the butterflies. This is going to be absolutely cute and beautiful set. Okay, we have placed our butterflies, give it a flash cure. Same butterflies going into this one. And I think they look absolutely fantastic, like all those different colors coming through it, like pinks, purples. Okay, 
and then give it a cure. Okay, the next finger right here. So a drop of the glitter. drop of the base and now stick those beautiful butterflies give it a cure let's go back to the heart one so I'm just going to clean my mixing palette so we can add a drop of the base again and some glitter flakes Just a pretty decent amount of the flakes. And now we are going to fill up those places with those flakes. Just an extra sparkle. Give it a flash cure. I think you cannot go wrong with the sparkle. Give it a flash cure. Same on this one. And then give it a flash cure. Okay, we have to just add some sparkle on this one as well. You have to imagine this is a hard shape so when you're applying the sparkles don't go outside the shape and the last one just on the top tiny one perfect give it a flash cure so we are almost there but this design wouldn't look nice without of the blink. So the blink is going to finish it off and make it look absolutely stunning. So I'm just cleaning my brush. And now we are going to play with this blink. Let's start from the pinky. So we can completely finish it off. Base gel. And we are going to apply the crystals on this line in here. And the one on the top. So you've got also the crystals in there. Okay. 
and a tiny one. Okay, so just three crystals there. Give it a cure. Then we are going to the ring finger and we are going to apply more crystals. And they have to go in this heart shape. Okay, after you place couple, you can just move them into the place you want. And you keep going. If you find it a difficult uh, to do too many at once, then give it a flash cure. So you would apply a couple crystals and then flash cure it. I'm actually going to show you that as well. So what I would do is hit it to the lamp, give it a flash cure. Then we've got middle finger. And we are going to place a couple crystals there too. Before we do that, we need to check they are going to lie together into the right shape. So, yes, this will go. Okay, so apply a couple crystals in there. Fit them into the nice shape. Check it again. Like working on the client is much easier. That's it. It should go. Flash cure this one and then finishing applying the crystals on this one. A really nice and beautiful design for spring, summer, and the Valentine's as well. So we have created half of the heart. I actually might add one more crystal. So I drop more of the base and one more crystal. Absolutely stunning. Perfect. I'm going to give it a cure to it. And then keep adding more crystal into this one.
And you can do it with a different uh, sizes of the crystals, different colors of the crystals, anything you really like. In this part, you really want to keep checking how does it look with your other tip. Okay, give it a flash here. So we are almost there with our beautiful design. I'm just going to quickly top coat this one. So high shine, no wipe top gel. And we are going to top coat this design. Don't put the top coat over the crystals. You just really want to go around them. If you struggle to do so with the large brush, then take a small brush and use the small brush. Okay, apply it nice and even everywhere. And then pick up another scoop just to go in the middle. To encaps encapsulate the butterflies, then give it a cure. Okay, base gel again. And more crystals going on into this beautiful butterfly heart <laughs> got a wrong size crystal don't want the large one yet Okay, correct the shape and we are almost there. Crystals, but to be sure, we are going to check it with the other tip. one more because this one seems to be a bit longer i think doing this design on a client would be pretty easy as well and i show you guys how i would direct their fingers because sometimes uh, obviously this one finger is longer and the other one is shorter so i show you what i do with my clients if i want to go for those kind of similar designs And the last one, then give it a cure. So when I will be working on the clients, obviously they are holding the hand like this. I would uh, shake their shake shake their hand, and then, gosh, no, I think it's impossible to show it. I would shake their hand and pull one finger more than the other, uh, just so they are all in the same direction and then you can easily see it uh, the shape of the love heart and then you will just paint it like this so much quicker and easier on the client actually done on those press on nails uh, unless you would take them off from the display but uh, let's decorate this one as well so i'm just going to put more base And normally I would encapsulate the butterfly into the hard gel, but obviously we are working with the press on nails. But if you would work on the natural nails and you are not applying the hard gel, then I would just use a base to stick them in the way they would do it and then go around it. And I have secured this way many, many crystals, like really large ones, and they have never came off. So the same kind of idea, we've got a large crystal in the middle then a couple of the smaller ones 
And I think every set has to have those blink, like with the blink, they are much, much, much nicer and prettier looking news. Okay, just move those crystals, cook it in. And now let's top coat it. What else you could do it? You could do it kind of raise it hard. Um, so this is a middle finger and this is a ring finger. You could take a top coat or a base gel and even build it up like kind of almost an encapsulated uh, liquid stone with uh, all sort of different uh, type of glitters. And I actually might show you a little bit. I think it will look super cool. Yeah, I'm going to show you that as well, guys. So I will take a tiny bit of the top coat. And for a change, I will use the soak of top gel just so the next layer is going to stick to it. And then, no, maybe let's go for this one. Soak of top gel. And for Valentine's Day, like I use lots of um, liquid stones designs. So you're kind of building up a huge gem with your gel. And it's nice and raised. Give it a cure. You could just top coat it like the way it is, but I think it will be nicer if we make it a bit more raised. And this way I will do it for a natural news. For the extensions, if you would use the gel, it would be really good as well and quicker. Don't apply the glitter on top of the butterflies. Okay, if you get any glitter on top of the butterflies, just wipe it off. Now let's apply the top coat. So high shine no wipe top gel. And now here we are going around the crystals. So don't apply the top coat on the crystals. Just go nicely around them. And then apply the top coat inside the heart. Give it a cure. Same in here. UV cleanser on my wipe. I've got some glitter there. And apply the top coat and the top coat. Give it a cure. And we've got the last nail to top coat it as well. So the top coat on the bottom. the top cut on the top and then just more in the middle because by the time we cure it it will spread on the sides as well give it a cure and then i show you the final look So we've got the pinky, which is completely ready. Absolutely cute set.
and i hope guys you have enjoyed watching this tutorial and it has given you some nice ideas okay then we've got the ring finger And now you will be able to see it better as well, which is awesome. Okay, so that's the ring finger, the middle finger. can see it a beautiful heart and then the index finger and that's an idea for this set guys for you something slightly different as well but I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial glittery hacks and bye for now it goes with the um, tip holder as well like the same crystals yeah glittery hacks and bye for now